In the past seven days, I've added lobotomies, 9-11, biological weapons, and even getting freaky to Minecraft because you guys told me to. And I want you guys to know that if the top comment had been something like add the cure to world hunger, I would have manually fed every hungry villager. But instead, I got stuck with stuff like add Epstein's island. Anyways, these are real mods that you can download at the end of the video. But first, we gotta talk about day one, where I added getting freaky with an iron golem to Minecraft. I'm a gentleman, so you have to ask the iron golem on a date first with a poppy, and then they'll follow you to this new restaurant structure that I added to every village. There are these waiter villagers that give you food, but you're here to get freaky, so you need to keep a conversation going for at least 10 real life minutes to show her you're not a weirdo. I coded it so that the iron golem actually responds with a sound every time you talk to it, and if you ask about its weight or age, it'll storm out. Otherwise, after your date, you guys can walk out together kick a villager out of their house and get freaky until you make a half-human, half-iron golem baby. This mod was freaky in a good way, but for day two, the top comment was Epstein's Island and that guy was freaky in a bad way. I was originally excited to do this 7 mods in 7 days thing but it turns out you guys can't be trusted and I was already not happy about doing this one. Nevertheless, you can get in this new private jet and fly it to a very specific island where there's a lot of baby villagers and Stephen Hawking is there and Steve Hawking and former President Donald Trump. Obama. For day three, you guys didn't do any better, and I had to add the World Trade Center to Minecraft. But since I didn't add the CIA, the World Trade Center is still a hustling, bustling tower where villagers trade every single block and item. It can be annoying to run up and down the whole tower looking for a single trade though, so I combined every villager in the tower into one World Trade Center villager who towers over your world and has every single trade. If you kill one of these villagers, two more will grow back in its place. And the world trade villager can become really large and laggy, to the point where you'll need to use Epstein's plane to kill it. Day 4 was technically on Saturday, but I took the day off to play Pokemon Go Fest, and I came back rejuvenated to add lobotomies to Minecraft. To start off with, I added these doctor villagers that can heal injured villagers, and you can steal their doctor jacket and stethoscope to be able to right click any mob and open up their head surgically. You can give them a lobotomy by clicking their open head, and without their brain, they're not forced to follow the rules of Minecraft so they can walk up walls, breed with whoever they want, and even change their physical form to become infinite two-dimensional planes. Mobs like pigs and skeletons have brains inside, but zombies do not. Luckily, you can take a lobotomized brain from a pig and give it to the zombie, which will transform it into a completely sentient player who sends messages in chat and feels real pain. Over time though, they'll develop traits from their original brain owner, which is how you can get cooked zombie pork chop. Mmm. This is my personal favorite mod of the seven, but I cooked for day five too, where I added low income neighborhoods to Minecraft. In regular villages, they have pig pens and dedicated farms, but impoverished villages don't have enough money or space for that, so the livestock lives with the villagers. And instead of growing crops, they'll grow giant fungal infestations that will slowly take over their house and eventually their neighborhood. You'll be able to tell when a villager is from a low income neighborhood because he'll have fungi sprouting from all of his orifices 
but on the bright side, pillagers will avoid them because there's nothing to pillage. And you can shear a low income villager for a mushroom, which you can eat to grow bigger. This will be super helpful against these piranha plants, but what would be even more helpful are these biological weapons that I added for day 6. You can now pop the leg off of a cave spider and put it on a stick to craft a spider leg sword. In a war, this wouldn't be that much better than a regular sword though, so you can put a poisonous cave spider between two pistons like this and mush it around so fast that it turns into poisonous cave spider gas. This is way more effective for a hypothetical war. But while we were playing with spiders, the witch, who has always been using bioweapons, has invented a nerve gas potion that turns everything into stone. This works on players too, and if you get turned to stone, that's it for you. You'll have to make a new world and start over. The witch will sell the nerve gas to the highest bidder and upgrade their witch hut into a witch mansion with the money. But luckily, when the nerve gas is used on the low income neighborhoods, it just stops the mushrooms from growing. Speaking of biological weapons, for day 7, I added the American healthcare system to Minecraft. I've already added restaurants, low income housing, and mushroom houses to villages and I'm just sick of working with these stupid jigsaw structure blocks. So instead of adding a hospital structure, I added these hospital villagers. They'll come running to you after you take damage, which means you don't have to pay for these ambulance villagers to pick you up. Anyways, you can trade with hospital villagers for potions of healing, although they're quite expensive. Luckily, you can get your money back like this, but you'll have just released all the mini doctors and mini patients that were living in there, and you'll be wanted by the police for literally destroying a hospital. Femboys was a really close second for day 7, so I added these okay. villagers in maid costumes as well. If you want to play with Stephen Hawking, get freaky with an iron golem, or turn into an infinite geometric plane, first, you have to scroll down a little to like the video and subscribe, and then you can open up the description for the download link. I'll do this series again in a month starting with the top comments of this video, but you guys have yet to give me better suggestions. See you next time.